Working through Don's design for the waste shaft and lifting links, I've encountered a bit of an issue. That being that the position of the waste shaft bearings on the loco do not align to the general arrangement or GA drawing. And the more I look at the GA, the more things appear amiss. The motion plate as a whole is shown on the GA as being approximately 5mm further forwards on the frames than the detailed design for the various components would have it. The detailed design for the motion plate shows where it is positioned on the frame. The left, or rear holes in the diagram here, being the top two holes for the stretcher bolts. As well as this detail, there is also the length of the slide bars, which when fitted, effectively confirm the position of the motion plate as aligned to the rear stretcher. This difference in the position of the motion plate may also explain the issues I encountered way back in part 37. So what am I going to do? I guess the first point I should consider is that the detailed designs should take precedence over the general arrangement or GA drawing. With that in mind, I'm not overly keen on the positioning of the bearing block for the way shaft because it means the lifting link doesn't sit particularly well, as in it's not vertical, it's always at an angle. And I think that for no other reason than even just aesthetics, that that lifting link should be vertical when the reverser is in the mid position. So I am going to reposition the bearing blocks a bit further forward. And luckily, because I've got a temporary and adjustable reach rod, that won't be too hard to do, I'm sure. To move the bearings forward, I just need to make some new bearing base blocks. This bit here in mild steel. As it is, it's a very simple design, a rectangular block with a couple of holes drilled all the way through, which align with the holes in the bearing. So in my new block, I'll have to extend it forwards so the original mounting holes through the top of the motion plate can be reused. And then I'll need to add two further threaded holes for the bearing mounting bolts. Making a pair of new base blocks was a simple job on the milling machine, as we can see here. And on the bottom you can see the two holes that align with the existing mounting holes on the motion plate. And on top, another pair of holes which bring the bearings 5mm further forwards. With the magic of video we can now see the new blocks in situ. I have to say, getting these fitted was a very difficult job included removing all of the valve gear to get access to the retaining bolts underneath the motion plate. But they're in place and they do now position that lifting link much more vertically, which looks a hell of a lot nicer. However, I've not managed to use the original lifting links because they are still too long. I think they're 41 mil between centers. And what I've got in place now is some temporary lifting links, which are 35 mil between centers. So with this setup, the bearings brought further forward and the shorter lifting links, it all looks a lot better. On the far side, the lever arm for the reverser is now positioned vertically and the lever arm at this end for the lifting link is much better aligned to where I think it should be and gives me the full range of movement forward and backwards. Right, before I wrap up this video, do I think that my aesthetically pleasing fix is really the solution? No, I don't think so. That would be naive in the extreme. There's clearly a more fundamental problem, and I strongly suspect that the motion plates do need to be moved forwards by 5mm. As we can see in the video now, I have managed to get the locomotive running nice and smoothly. But only in the forward direction. With my attempts at setting the timing to get it running this smoothly, it doesn't run at all in reverse. So clearly there's more that needs to be looked at. My understanding of the intricacies of Walshart's valve gear is limited. So it looks like I've got some learning to do so I can figure out what's going on with the valve gear here and make the necessary modifications even if it means moving the motion plates forwards.
I will of course carry on with the build whilst I'm doing that. Thanks for watching.